Now we cross into the Mississippi and Minnesota. Heck of a showdown in Class 2A. Top ranked Caledonia, winners of 70 straight and who held their opponent last week to nine <laughs> yards, visiting sixth ranked Chatfield. Now these two met twice last year. Both times Caledonia took care of business. Well, Eli King was Eli King today. Check out the moves on this play. Uh, just a several couple of ankle breakers. Gets the first down to the outside. Same drive, looks to the back of the end zone, finds Austin Klug for the score. Caledonia's up. Second quarter, it's King again. Hits an open Colton Welsh this time as the Warriors go up 13. Chatfield now on second and goal. Reed Johnson sacked. He loses the football. Caledonia recovers, and they would turn it into gold on the other end. King with another beautiful pass to Isaiah Reinhardt. Make it 71 wins in a row for Caledonia, 33-6. Some other scores tonight. Heartbreaking overtime loss for Rush Pete. While a nine-man Spring Grove gets a win while Houston drops their game. A couple classes off with Nora looking to go 3-1, and one, hosting 1-2 one and two, Rochester Century. Century's ground attack, though, did some damage early. Isaiah Huber runs up from 10 yards. Remember his name tonight. It's 6-0 Panthers. Now, later on in the first, Nora's offense joins the party. Jacob Hafferman on the line, finds Thomas Majeski in stride, 66 yards, and the Winhawks go all the way from their 17 to the end zone. Make that inside Century's 20, am I correct? Wishful thinking. Right, right. right. Two plays later, Hafferman's late. Then tie the game up five <laughs> yards away. Got a little excited there. Nora has the lead. Now that lead would not last long as Huber from nine yards out. And this throw from his end just too easy. It's 12 7 Rochester. And ensuing kickoff turnovers, never good. This is why the ball gets stripped. Ryan Linder picks it up and takes it off to the promised land, but also then fumbles. Cole Elbing, though, saves the day. It's a two score lead in the blink of an eye. And uh, after that, he will live in the end zone, rent free in the first half. If you want to go into the financials, here he goes, pulling away from the Winhawks defense for his third TD of the half. And Winona's home winning streak ends at 24, game 39 to 20.